What's up guys, this is again Shrix from Smarthead. Welcome back to my Android app development tutorial for beginners. Now in this video, I am gonna talk about Android toolbar which gives an awesome appearance to your application. Now first of all, let me show you what is a toolbar. The image coming in front of you is an example of a toolbar. The blue border at the top is a toolbar. This is a tablet screen and this is your phone screen. In the phone screen also, you can clearly check out what is a toolbar. Now let me make it more clear to you. You all guys have used the Gmail application. Now the layout at the top is actually a toolbar and the whole scenario represents the Android lollipop material design which gives an awesome appearance to your application. And to apply a material design, the Android toolbar plays a crucial role in such aspect. Now let us proceed. Now guys, to apply a material design theme to your application, these are the names of the color that we will discuss in the upcoming videos. So please don't worry about it. The background color of the toolbar is actually known as color primary. The color of the status bar is known as color primary dark. This is the text color, no doubt. This is the window background and this is the navigation bar color. So you can customize your whole application including the status bar also as per your requirement. We will check out each and every type of color in the upcoming video so please don't worry about it. Now next here also we are having few new terms such as color control normal and color accent. Now the color accent as the arrow indicates this is your edit text and the border of the edit text is actually what color accent right now the color of the checkbox you can also customize with the help of color accent and now this is your color control normal various other attributes that we will check out in the upcoming videos now next if you remember guys earlier in our application we used to have action bar now action bar is getting replaced by toolbar but it do not means that action bar is deprecated. You can use action bar in your present application also. But this toolbar is just more flexible and more beautiful version of this action bar. So we can say a toolbar is similar to an action bar. Clear? We can obviously replace an action bar with the help of a toolbar. No doubt in that. Now here comes the major difference between a toolbar and the action bar. The major difference is the toolbar is actually a view group. That means it acts as a layout. You can compare a toolbar with your relative layout or linear layout. Because a toolbar can contain an image inside it or you can customize the toolbar as per your wish. So that is why it is known as a view group. Now again guys, I will clear your concept why toolbar is called a view group in the further tutorials. So as of now, just remember toolbar acts as a view group. You can define the layout width, layout height, you can place the text view, image view or any other views inside the toolbar similar to what we do in case of our relative layout or linear layout. Clear? Now again, as it is a view group, so toolbar can be placed anywhere on the screen. You can place a toolbar at the bottom of the screen or you can place a toolbar at the middle of the screen. No doubt in that. Now next, we can provide support for all kinds of devices starting from API 7 plus. So it is similar to the case of this action bar. The action bar, we were providing a support library app combat v7. So similarly toolbar can also be applied to the lower versions. Now let us check out few more facts related to toolbar. The image in front of you, you can say it is a contextual action bar. Just to simplify this, let it be a toolbar. Clear? Now next. Now the toolbar can consist of a navigation button. This arrow represents what a navigation button. When you click on it, you can migrate to the previous activity or you can toggle a navigation menu, close it, collapse it or whatever you want to, you can do with this navigation button. Now similar to action bar, it can also contain a logo which gives a pretty awesome appearance to your application. But looking at the present application scenarios, it is not at all recommended to apply a logo to your application. Fine. Now the toolbar can contain a title and a subtitle as it is clear from the image itself. So let's proceed. Here you can see a beautiful image in front of you. Now this, the layout from here 
to till here is actually what a toolbar now guys as i told you toolbar behaves like a view group so here i have placed an image and beside that image i have placed a text view and another text view right here and this is a navigation button this is a toolbar menu right and this is actually what and this represents a pop-up menu so as we already discussed we can place one or more custom views inside our toolbar clear which was not possible in case of an action bar and also we can place an action menu this is action menu and this is a overflow menu so this was all about the video regarding the toolbar in android so from the next video onwards we will jump on to our android studio and we will check out how to apply a material design theme and how to incorporate our toolbar into our application so meanwhile if you like what you saw please subscribe to this channel and make sure you follow us on facebook and twitter and catch you guys in the next video